advance guard of freedom make their touchdown on the Normandy beaches just as the sun scatters the mists of early morning. I was backpacking through Europe and I was uh, 20 years old and it was just prior to Christmas and I found myself standing on the Normandy beaches alone. It was a very windy day. I was just really taken by the place. It felt like there was this aura to it. There was a hauntedness to it. My name is Dr. Jeffrey Bird. I'm an associate professor here at Royal Roads University, and I do research in war remembrance and tourism. I think it was when I was a guide at Vimy Ridge. I had the opportunity to work there early in my life, and I was uh, daily giving tours of the beautiful memorial and the trench system and the tunnels. And I realized that it was quite an emotional experience for people. It's an interesting thing because uh, when uh, in my work as a researcher, it's almost like I have a relationship with these sites of memory over time. So the first time I go versus the tenth time I go, the, uh, the relationship evolves. And sometimes I, I feel like uh, the power of a place is still the same as it was on day one. And then other times I feel that there's been an evolution that it's actually become um, different in terms of how I understand the place. And there are certain places that I find myself visiting that I find quite powerful. The joy I have with uh, the work I do is when I'm able to take other people to these sites and introduce them to these stories and to have them discover on their own why knowing this history is important to their lives today. When I was working uh, for a company called Education First Tours and also for Commonwealth War Graves Commission and I was working at Vimy Ridge for the, the 2017 pilgrimage and there were 10,000 Canadian high school students there. And I had the opportunity to play a role in that commemoration in terms of designing an expo site for the students and also leading a professional learning tour. And I realized at that time the role that my research was, was providing. The research problem in my case is trying to connect people with the past. And because there's a, such an emotional element to the work that I do, I can capture it better with video than I can, I think, with a, with a book. And in that way, I find it a great opportunity to reach out to a larger audience and have them connect with these stories uh, in their own way. Part of this journey is to explore the world. And people sometimes think that pretty much everything's being explored, but that's not the case. You know, we're always we're always finding new ways to look at things and to understand things and to gain a deeper meaning about the world around us and our past. And what I find interesting is when I study the past through sites of memory, uh, it helps me get a sense of who we are today.